my name is Babu Kabir. I'm from an uh, NGO called Bragg uh, that uh, originated in Bangladesh but now is working in uh, nine other countries in the world in South Asia, Africa, and Haiti. Okay, great. And um, what, what are you doing in Bangladesh? My particular focus and the reason for my coming to the Stockholm Water Week is basically obviously related to water, water related and mainly water and sanitation. Okay. So uh, we work uh, it as a holistic cycle of uh, integrating uh, water, sanitation with hygiene. Yeah, but you also do large scale implementation as I understand. Is that, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Uh, by a lot of standards. By a lot of standards. Uh, we've just finished what we call the Brack Wash One program. It ended in April 2011, and uh, we managed to get uh, 25 million people access to improved hygiene latrines. Yeah. And that's a, that's impressive. So what what what's the next step? So you next step is. Uh, People, because we said it was a water sanitation hygiene program, so there's been a lot of focus on hygiene as well. But it takes uh, longer than the four and a half years to uh, change behaviors. So uh, in the second phase, what we're going to do is consolidate uh, our behavior change uh, activities. Uh, they were uh, the last mile, as we call it, the most difficult. So you reach 90%, 85%. Uh, who are converted, who are doing something, and then you have uh, the last few percentage which are, who are very hard to convince. Mm. And uh, so we'll be consolidating and concentrating on them. Uh, we'll also be taking on uh, another uh, 20 sub-districts, which are either geographically or technologically uh, very difficult to access. Mm. So what, I mean, in, in terms of, you know, the impact that you're going to have, is this something which you feel like you will have to keep going back or at what point let's say do you do you succeed and then maybe communities take over or business takes over or I mean what kind of engagement is this? Till now the thinking had been that the community would take over and uh, there's been a lot of leadership development capacity building exercises uh, taking place. Uh, we in the second phase will be also concentrating on building entrepreneurship skills uh, so that uh, a certain part of it, the hardware part of it, can be taken over by businesses, small scale private businesses, and the others would be uh, uh, the community led efforts. Okay, great. And um, yeah, I think that's, that's pretty clear. What about your other work? Because you were telling me earlier that you do some work um, also in food security. What, what is the link you know, between these areas? There are two definite links. Uh, there's a lot of indirect links, but two direct, very, very direct links. One is water is water, irrespective of whether you're using it for drinking, whether you're using it for hygiene, or whether you're using it for irrigation. So how do you map and uh, distribute that resource? That's one. Second is, uh, in Bangladesh, we are using pit latrines. So at one stage, the pit gets filled up. And uh, human feces, I mean, how do you handle human feces at disposal? Uh, in a hygienic, safe manner, which can then be used to enrich the soil for crop cultivation. Yeah, okay, great. Well, I look forward to hearing more in the future. Thank yes, you. thank you very much.